Hey everyone. So I found this new program called Airtable. It's totally free to use. And for me, it has been the best way to keep track of all my contacts. And it's been the best way for me to follow up and to take sample requests. So I wanted to share, share this with you because I think it could provide some value to you and um, help you stay better organized yourself. So let me share my screen. All right, let me minimize some things here. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is just go to Airtable.com. When you get to Airtable.com, you can set up your account. It's free, it's totally free to use. So, um, I mean, you can upgrade to like the pro version, but really the free version is totally sufficient for, for the needs that I think we need. Um, okay, so the first thing that you're gonna do is, so th this is what I've got, this is my contacts. Um, but I'm going to show you how to create your own. Okay. So first thing you'll do is you'll add a base. Now you can start with the template that Airtable has, or you can import your own spreadsheet or start from scratch. Now, if a lot of you have been doing this from the get go, you probably, well, I mean, if you've been doing this for a little while, you probably have like your own Excel spreadsheet with all your contacts in it. And anytime someone's filled out your Google form, you've probably exported those contacts from your Google form and added them to your Excel spreadsheet. So I highly recommend getting all of your contacts into one place on one Excel spreadsheet and then importing it into a base here. And I'll just show you kind of how to do that. So if you click import a spreadsheet, you can, you can import a CSV file or you can copy and paste everything from Excel, which is what I'm all about. So, I will go to my Excel here, and I just did some Jane Doe to keep it generic, but you just copy all your data, and then go back here and paste it into that box, and then import pasted data. Okay, then it's gonna want you to name it, so we'll say contacts, and then you can choose a fun color and an icon, you know, like, I like this one, the people, because they're my contacts. Okay. Next, you just click on it to go inside the base, and I'll just show you around in here. So this is the grid view, and this basically is just your contacts. This first column here, you can't move it. These other ones, though, you can just move around wherever you want them to. Let's move those back, though. <laughs> um, okay, and from here, I actually wanna add some things, some features that Excel does not offer me. So I'm going to just right click and insert to the left, and I will add my follow-up dates. Okay, and then right here, this category, or this thing, this categorizes your column, which is gold. So you'll wanna click that and change it to a date for follow-up dates, and I'll show you a really cool trick. So save that, and then I'm gonna add in another column, insert left. This is gonna be my notes, and I wanna actually change this to long text. So that way, um, I can pop this, I can expand this, sh this cell out. So I could start typing in here or I can expand it out and then I have this big space to work with and I can see all my previous notes. Say I have a lot more notes. Okay, so another thing, another really cool feature about this that you can't do in Excel, we'll add one more just to show you. Um, customer photo, okay? And you can change this to an attachment and then what you can do is when you um, click on it, you can add an attachment or you can drop a file directly into um, the cell, which is awesome. So that'll save you a lot of time. So you can add an attachment. I will just do just a generic photo to show you like color straight um, and then upload it. And then you've got a photo there for your customer, a note. And then for a follow-up date, all you do is just press a number the calendar will pop up and we'll say the first. Okay, so I'm gonna leave a note here that just says sent or gave Jane a sample. Um, we'll check in tomorrow. Okay, so now this is where, this is what's super awesome. Okay, another real cool trick you can do is you can just say all these people that I just added were from the same party and they all have the same follow-up dates. I can actually just drag this down and it'll fill in all the cells for me, which is awesome. Okay, so I wanna show you a couple other tricks. One is, first of all, the gallery view. So this kind of turns all your contacts into one card and um, 
you can kind of see them more separately, you know, as little like contact cards, kind of like a Rolodex, but all online. So here we've got Jane. Um, you can see the note I gave her, her name, and then all her address and stuff. I can click on it and it expands it and I can get her address and everything there. So the other cool thing is this automatically saves. It's just on the cloud. So you don't have to be clicking save. It's like saving as you're going. Okay, another really cool view is the calendar view. And this is just, this is where the money happens because this is how you're going to be able to follow up with your, with all your customers in a very easy way. So let me just show you my tricks here. So you make your calendar and you have to use a data field. And so you did make one with the follow-up dates. That's the data field. And so you just click done. And then anything that's any date that is written in that data field will show up on this calendar. So I had nine or 10 contacts that I needed to follow up with on March 1st. So what I do is I go in, I can expand the record. I can see, oh, what note did I give to her last time? Oh, I checked in with her yesterday. I gave her a sample. Oh yeah, I need to check in with her. So um, I can, my other trick is always put the most recent note on top. So that way you see the most recent correspondence and, um, you know, you can kind of just see all, all that you've been talking about with that person. So, um, I'll say spoke with Jane, uh, at the park and she wants to place an order, gave her the link, the, the link, and she ordered a buy three, get one free deal. Okay, so then what this is this is what you do next. Okay, so I've just placed an order with her. So, or she's just placed an order with me. So I'm now gonna follow up with her in two weeks. Okay, so two weeks I changed my date to the 15th because in two weeks' time she should have received her order and hopefully given it a try. We want to check in, make sure that she received it okay without any problems, and to see if she has any questions about application or anything like that. So again, you can just X out of it. You don't have to save anything. And you'll see on the calendar that she got moved to the 15th. So this is totally how you can stay on top of your follow-ups. And it's very visual. And it'll really help you be successful. So again, and then you just go to the next name. And you can expand their record. And, you know, and this is so great. I highly recommend when you get home from doing an event, add in all the people from your lead forms right away and make those personal notes and put in a date for you to follow up with. Anytime you do an online party, take all those people who are filling out your request form and add them in and do a little follow-up note. And then you can stay on top of follow-ups and you will not get behind, especially if you make it a point to follow up with the people on that date every single day, just doing your follow-ups. Fortune really is in the follow-up. Okay. Now, last but not least, I'm going to show you this super cool thing that this feature that Airtable has, which just kind of solidifies the deal for me for using this. You can use a form. So I've been using Google Forms to for my sample requests, which is great. It's beautiful. You can add pictures. You can embed videos. This is a little bit more basic. You can add a picture if you upgrade to the pro account, but really, like I say, the free account is sufficient for, for our needs here. Um, but basically what you'll do is create this form. So the name of my form is going to be, you know, sample request form. Um, it can be anything. It could be, you can, you can make, I think more than one form too with, with this, like a hostess request form. Um, but we'll stick with sample request form. Um, I'll kind of show you, this is my form that I've got on my master contact list. And so I'll just take this, um, this little message here and add it into the description and then name, you know, I actually generally do first and last just so they actually give me their first and last name and I make it required. Now, follow up dates. They, whoever's filling out this form does not need to see follow up dates. So you can do this really cool feature, hide the field. If I hover over it, you can hide this field. So click on that and it won't be seen on the form. This is same with the notes and this is also same with the customer photo. They don't need to see that part, but email address, go ahead and make it required. Mailing address, make it required. Same with city, state, and zip. You want all these to be required. You want to, you don't want to have to contact them after, like directly after being like, oh, you didn't fill out your zip code, which happens. I don't make phone number required though. Okay, so there's the form, but then you're like, wait, how do they request which sample type and the other information? So you can actually add a field to this form. 
So I'll show you, and it's at the end, so it'll actually show up on the very end of your table in the grid form. I'll go back and show you that as well. So which sample would you like to try? And here you change the kind of category it is to multiple select. You can add an option and do solid. Add another option, glitter. Add another option, nail art. Add another option, a French manicure, manicure. And then save that. Okay, then you can add yet another field and you'll wanna ask something like best way to contact you. And again, change it to multiple select and you'll add an option and say a phone call or a text or Facebook Messenger or email and save that. Then you'll also definitely wanna add if they'd like more info, I like more info on, and then again, multiple select, add an option, hosting a party, an online, an online party, um, hosting a local nail bar, uh, getting paid to have pretty nails, purchasing nail strips, and you can also do none of the above, which I, like to do on this kind of question. Um, save, and again, I would actually make all of these, so these actually come as like a drop down that they can check. So I would make all of these required just so they get, um, you know, they get answered on your form. When you scroll down, you can leave a little message that will appear after they've submitted the form. Um, and I always recommend just adding a link to your VIP customer group and explain what your customer group is and just invite them to become a VIP. Um, and then at the very bottom here, you can email, have, have you be alerted when someone fills out this form. Now, here's the next cool thing about the form. When someone fills out this form, they're automatically populated into your contact list. So someone fills out the form, you go to your grid view, you're suddenly gonna have a whole other contact down here. And then what you can do is you can go in, you can make a note, you can add their, you can add their photo, and you can give them a follow-up date of what you're gonna you know, follow up with them about next. The other thing, we're gonna go back to the request form here. The other great thing about this is share form. So this button here gives you the shareable link and what you can do is you can copy this and you can go into um, you can go into bit.ly and um, you can create a link just paste it in there you know and then you can create your customizable like poly sample request form or whatever um, and then it, it, yeah, so that bit.ly link will lead them straight to the form. I'll also show you, you can preview it, see what it looks like, you know, so this is what a new customer would be looking at here. Wait for it to load. So like I said, it's pretty blank, just white and black. <laughs> Can't really add a picture in there unless you upgrade to the pro, um, but it's sufficient, you know. Um, so, and then they submit it and give them, it gives them that little, um, the response at the very end. So that's what's really cool is you can share this form and again, it's just populated directly into your contact list and it just makes follow-up so, 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 so easy. Um, okay, there was one other thing. Oh yeah, so going back to the grid view. Now, if you scroll over, oh man, hold on, I gotta minimize this real quick so I can. So if you scroll over here, you'll see that all these other fields, which sample, best way to contact you, they're here. So you can hide these fields from this, um, from this uh, grid view by going like that if you don't want them to be seen, okay? But they'll still be, they'll still be on your form. At least let's make sure they will be. Yep, they'll still be on your form, okay? So if you don't want them to be on your grid view, you can basically hide anything, you know, that you don't want that you don't want on your grid view. So it may, basically makes it work, which is wonderful. Okay, so that's basically all I've got for you guys. Um, I let please let me know if you have any questions about this, but honestly, it has totally changed the way I followed up. Truly, I started with Excel, and it was just really hard to get really hard to be organized and I'm like a pretty organized person. So 
Um, and then I tried a couple other databases that I paid for that just were just confusing. This is great. It's like Excel and database, how to baby. And it just makes follow up and organization so much easier. So please, again, let me know if you have any questions whatsoever. And I really hope that you guys get on this so you can enjoy following up and staying organized like I am.